G'day everyone. Today I've got some parcels to open up. Not one, not two, but three parcels, but that one looks like it's been opened. I had a mishap. Let me explain. Hey Robbie, you've got mail. You better check your mailbox. Okay, Robbie, thanks, mate. What's the address? Post Office Box 3006, Yoranga LPO, Wangaratta 3677. Rightio, the most unfortunate thing happened, and it's got to do with the fact that this microphone is sitting here. <laughs> I came out here yesterday into my shed. It was absolutely teeming rain. I had to talk really loud to get over the rain. I filmed a fantastic mail time video. I spoke a bit about a few other things that I think would have been of interest to you guys. And it was just great. When I put the memory card in the computer, the uh, audio was fantastic. For the first minute, and then it went to crap. The audio dropped out completely. The batteries on my Rode Wireless Go uh, microphones went flat. So I charged them up last night and I'm going to have to film it again. The problem is I've already opened two out of these three. I opened these two yesterday and this one rocked up in the mailbox this morning. So I'm really sorry to these two, but it's not going to be a live uh, opening because I done it live yesterday and it, uh, yeah, there was no audio. And then today I've come here, I've set all my camera gear up, I've charged the batteries, I've started recording. Audio issues again. This time, this is a Rode mobile phone, mobile lav mic, and it's got this little adapter so you can use it in a camera instead of a phone. And I've been using that a lot, but for some reason my audio is not working with this system, so I've, uh, I've had to take that out and put this here. This audio is still normally pretty good, but I reckon for the best audio you've got to plug a lav mic into this. That gets rid of that square box off my chest and gives me a clearer audio. But anyway folks, no point in uh, crying over spilt milk. What's done is done. Let's open some of this mail. But first, let's just watch the intro to yesterday's video. Listen to how heavy it was raining. Can you hear that? It is absolutely bucketing down. So I'm gonna be talking with a louder voice than normal because I'm hoping that when I talk loud, the microphone might hone in on my voice and separate that from the background noise. Although I have to say that background noise which is heavy, steady rain on the roof of this shed, is the best possible background music I could ever have in any video. We are in such a dry spell. This rain is fantastic. How awesome is that? It's still raining now, but much lighter. We've had around about 50 millimeters where I live. Some places, Mount Buffalo, as I speak now, has had 180 millimeters and it's still raining. There's a flush coming. Right, folks, let's get into the mail. This one here, real easy to open because I opened it yesterday. This is from Jake Kamenzuli. Dear Robbie, my name is Jake Kamenzuli. It's pronounced Kamenzuli. You inspire me to go out fishing. I live in North Richmond and we had a flash flood, so I've not been able to go out fishing. I have been watching you since 1,000 subscribers. Since one, we have 1,000 subscribers, it actually says 100,000 subscribers, 100K. I haven't quite got that many yet, mate, I'm just under 40. I've been watching you since 1,000 subscribers. You have me, you have taught me so much about fishing. You inspire me to make YouTube videos. My YouTube channel is Jake Kamenzuli. I am 47 subscribers. I want to hit 50 by my birthday, which is in April, from Jake. I love this. This is the very reason why I set up my mail time segment to start with. Kids asked me if they could send me letters. So I set up, a, I opened a mailbox and, let, and I, lo I just love handwritten letters. I appreciate all you guys that have sent me lures and odds and ends and stuff, but this is what it's all about for me. Seeing kids with taking the time to write a handwritten letter, absolutely I can give you a shout out. Folks, let's uh, see if I can put a link above in this video to Jake Kamenzuli to his channel, and he's got 47 subscribers at the start of March. Let's see if we can get him to 50 by April. He only needs three, and I'm gonna be one of them. So that's gonna take him to 48. Jake Kamenzuli, thank you very much for the kind words. Thank you for going to the trouble to write me a handwritten letter. Absolutely fantastic. Good luck with your YouTube channel. I look forward to having a look at it when I finish filming this video. Next one. Quickest unboxing ever. Geez, I was annoyed when I plugged the, uh, put the memory card in my phone, in my computer yesterday and realised that I had no audio. I'm actually very closely watching 
a little uh, chart down here that's peaking. It's got my audio on it, so I know it's recording this time. Hi, Robbie, in appreciation of the good videos you have done, we here at the Pug Family Australia would like to give you this cup to hopefully encourage you to drink more. We were going to send a lure, but we think you have plenty of lures at the moment. I actually have got a lot of lures. That's an understatement. If you could give our YouTube channel a shout out, it would be much appreciated. It's called the Pug Family Australia. I've already been and checked it out after I filmed the initial video last night before I realised the audio was gone and I've already subscribed. I started watching your yabbying video look, which looked really cool. I'm hopefully going to get back to it this afternoon. Hopefully it keeps raining and I can stay inside and watch, uh, catch up on a few YouTube videos. Cheers, Josh. P.S. I would like to come down and do an episode with you. If this would at all be possible, please contact me. You won't read out the number. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, Josh, but look what they sent me. A pug... It is the Pug Life coffee mug. Look at that, Pug Life Australia. Now, I really like this coffee mug. There's a, there's a reason that I like this so much that you guys don't even probably realize, including you guys at the Pug Life, the Pug Family Australia, sorry, not the Pug Life. And guess what? She absolutely loves dogs. She is a real... I've got two daughters. A lot of people don't even know that. I often get comments about, you know, when are you going to take your daughter fishing at Christmas? I have people wishing me and Loretta and Holly a Merry Christmas. A lot of you don't realise I've got two kids. I've got an older daughter named Sky. Now, Sky's not an extrovert like Holly. Sky doesn't have to push the boundaries. She's happy to not be on camera. She's very quiet. She's shy. She keeps to herself. And as a result, you guys, a lot of you don't even know that she exists. But that's her choice. And if Holly ever didn't want to be on camera, I would honour that as well. I never force my kids to do things on the internet that they don't want to do, so to speak. But Holly loves it, just like I do. She loves to be in front of the camera, but Sky doesn't. But what Sky does love is dogs. She absolutely loves dogs. We can be driving up the street and we can see a dog of some kind and I'll say, what the hell is that furry looking thing? And Sky will say, oh, yeah, that's an Afghan terrier or Afghan spaniel or something. She knows them all. I actually bought her an encyclopedia about dogs called a Doglopedia a few years ago for her birthday. She loves dogs and I am going to use this cup and I'm also going to share it with Sky. I'm going to let her use this cup if she would like a hot Milo or something because she loves dogs. Thank you very much Pug Family Australia. I'll put a link above now to their channel. Go and check them out. There's a really cool yabbying video on there. Oh, yeah, I think it's called Catching Blue Claws or something. I'll have to get back to that and uh, I'll have to get back to that and have a look. I started watching it but I was running out of time. Now this one's from Roscoe and this isn't opened. So yeah, this, this is the live opening. This wasn't in the mailbox yesterday. This just missed out on the great microphone fail of 2020. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. Is that a, is that a whopper plopper? I know my friend, Rowan uses a lure similar to that called a whopper plopper. Let's see what it is. Hey you! <laughs> love it. I love that introduction. A lot of people do, but every time I use it, people complain. Hey, you. You're watching Robbie Fishing. Hey, you. You're watching Robbie Fishing. Hi, Robbie. I've got a few of these lures from USA. They are called Whopper Ploppers. I was right on it. I live in Queensland now. I got them to chase Barra. No success yet. But I thought they might go okay on cod. Don't have to read this bit out if you don't want to. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll read it, then if I think it's not suitable, I'll cut it out. I used to live in Wang about 35 to 40 years ago. I was a truck driver there and I used to know your father and his brother. Good to see you, good to see your old man on one of your videos. I live in Harvey Bay now. Have a happy day, Roscoe. Isn't that amazing? My dad and my uncle both drive trucks for Green Freight. Uncle Wayne hasn't driven for Green Freight for years, and my dad, he's just turned 69. And I rang him up this morning and I said, what are you up to? And he said... I'm in the B-double on the way to Melbourne. <laughs> he's 70 years old, folks, and he still works. He still throws chains and straps and does trailers up. He had cancer nearly 10 years ago, five, six years ago. He got really sick. He fought it off. Now he's back with a vengeance. He rides his push bike. He looks after his health, and he is an absolute inspiration. And I just hope to God that by the time I'm my dad's age that I can still be as fit as what he is. Ross, thank you very much for the lure. 
Uncle Wayne, I believe, is retired now. He doesn't live in Wang anymore. He's up on the New South Wales coast. But my dad still lives in Wang and he still drives trucks, most likely for the same company as when you worked with him because he's been there over 40 years. Whopper plopper. Now, I know a few of you guys here are also subscribed to my friend Rowan from RKJ Fishing. If you haven't checked out the RKJ Fishing channel, check it out because Rowan is an absolute gem. I love his channel. His channel is rapidly becoming one of my favorite channels. I'll put a link to his channel above as well. Rowan has caught cod on a whopper plopper. I've seen him do it in his videos. They look great. I'm really looking forward to giving this a swim. I'm excited. I get a lot of lures sent to me, but I'm gonna put this one straight into my, uh, instead of the male time lures focus, this camera is so slow at focusing. It's right, what if I take my glasses off? It's raining in, it's got me. Right, I love this camera. Canon seven, G7X Mark III. I've got the Mark III because I can use a microphone with it, but it focuses so slow. Anyway, enough about cameras. Instead of putting this in my fishing with male time lures tub, I'm gonna put this in my everyday fishing tub because I'm gonna take this fishing with me when I go cod fishing next because I'm really super keen to give this one a crack just because I've seen Rowan catch fish on them and they look really cool. Anyway, folks, whopper plopper, awesome. Thank you very much, Roscoe, really appreciate the letter. Thank you very much, everybody, for sending in to my mail time segment. Thank you, all you guys that watched the video. If you've liked it, why not hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on because not only do I do mail time videos like this, but I have a lot of fishing adventures. I have a lot more fishing adventures than anything else, and hopefully you can join me on some of those adventures.